the electric car is making a luxurious, high-profile comeback. These are the latest electric cars only millionaires can buy. The $3.6 million Aspark Owl is the most expensive EV out there. Remember when Hollywood actors would drive $28,745 Toyota Priuses around pretending to be good people? Now they can have their cake and eat it too as they can lower their carbon footprint and vroom vroom at a major league level with this Japanese engineered phenom that is actually built in Turin, Italy by Manifattura Automobili Torino. Manifattura also makes the blazing fast, gas-powered 2.2 million dollar SCG003S and the soulful 3 million dollar Apollo IE. The Owl rockets from 0 to 60 in 1.69 seconds and blows the 3.3 million dollar gas-powered 1500 horsepower Bugatti Chiron out of the water with its four electric motors that churn out 1,480 kilowatts of power and 1,475 pound-feet of torque which translates to an epic 1,985 horsepower. It can go up to 249 miles per hour. And its 64 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery has a range of 280 miles. Only 50 Aspark Owls will be made. 20 are going to Asia, 20 to Europe, and only 10 to America. These vehicles with their edgeless feminine shape and bird of prey face are just under 39 inches tall, making it one of the lowest hypercars in the world. But that all carbon fiber body though. Non-aerospace grade carbon fiber is about $9.70 a pound for the raw materials, with a conversion efficiency of only 50%. At 265 pounds, just a little heavier than Rob Gronkowski, the OWL's monocoque chassis costs around $5,141 in raw materials, but the casting labor was a fortune. This car gets put together not by soulless machines, but by engineers and artists, by hand, giving it that sleek, elegant look and hefty price tag. Whoever killed the electric car didn't double check his work, as the Italian-built $2.6 million Pininfarina Battista is alive and well. Put it in furiosa mode and the 1900 horsepower plus hypercar gets 0 to 60 in under 2 seconds, less than half the time it takes the critically acclaimed all-electric base model $103,400 Porsche Taycan S to do the 0 to 60 dance. We'll be talking about the Taycan Turbo S Cross Turismo later. It is comparable in feel, style, and price price tag to the $2 million Lotus Evija, one of the most gorgeously aerodynamic 2,000 horsepower electric vehicles money can buy. The Evija is still in the prototype phase. As for the Batista, only 150 of these will be made. The same deal will apply to this next car. The $2.5 million sister car to the Batista is the Croatian-built $2.5 million Remac Nevera, 0 to 60 in an impossible 1.85 seconds. Wow! This absolutely smokes the 0 to 60 2.35 second time of the world's fastest production gas-powered motorcycle. The $17,749 Suzuki GSX R1000. The Nevera is equipped with a computer-controlled all-wheel vectoring system that makes over 100 calculations each second to a to the driver in controlling the vehicle, helping you stable up to its top speed of 258 miles per hour. It also has six radar sensors, 12 ultrasonic sensors, and 13 cameras that feed information to an AI driving advisor to aid the human driver in dangerous or complicated situations. The best part? Its batteries can be recharged from 0 to 80% in only 19 minutes. That's three times faster than the Samsung S22. The U.S. government plans to end purchases of gas-powered vehicles by 2035 in a move to lower emissions and promote electric cars under an executive order signed by President Joe Biden in December of 2022. Justin Trudeau set a similar goal for Canada, signing a bill requiring 100% of car and passenger truck sales to be zero emission by 2035 in the whole country. The Canadian Prime Minister recently pledged $2 billion for electric vehicle production. Old school big name in the supercar game Ferrari has the $320,000 SF Stradale, a plug-in hybrid acting as a segue to going all-electric for the brand. Same deal with Lamborghini. It has the $2.64 million Lambo Skyen FKP37 hybrid, an appetizer while it gets on its way to the government-mandated electric car game. A major player in the high-performance electric car wars is the $750,000 Genovation GXE. It's actually a reinvention of an American automotive icon, the Corvette. 
the most expensive new gas-powered VET is the ZR1, a $120,000 mid-engine masterpiece. The three-quarter mil GXE is actually a rebuilt $44,697 Corvette Z06. Electric motors generally don't have transmissions, meaning you don't need to shift gears, but the GXE has a rare seven-speed Corvette transmission. It's as quiet as a library inside as there's very little engine noise in the cockpit of this hypercar until you hit 7,000 RPMs. Then it sounds more missile than car. It takes six hours to get a full charge from empty, and that buys you 130 miles. So plan your longer trips wisely with the GXE. You can comfortably handle a longer journey in the Genovation, as unlike many hypercars which tend to beat up drivers and don't have a lot of legroom, the GXE's interior is spacious, plush, and luxurious. The GXE's pair of mid-engined motors produces 660 brake horsepower and lets you get up to 205.6 miles per hour on a regular road. Genovation tested it at the Kennedy Space Center runway in Florida, which is nicknamed the Gator Tanning Facility, the flattest three-mile concrete surface on the planet with less than one-quarter height variation end-to-end -end that costs $5,000 to rent for the day. On the runway, the GXE achieved a top speed of 211.8 miles per hour. The highest top speed for an electric vehicle at the time. The fastest gas-powered production car on Earth in 2022 is the Swedish-built $3 million Koenigsegg Jesko Absolute, which can hit 330 miles per hour. The gas-powered $4.7 million Bugatti Bolide plans to dethrone the Absolute with its claimed top speed of 304.4 miles per hour. In the whole wide world, there's only $2,550,000 Mercedes-Benz SLS electric drive still kicking around. It went into production in 2014 and has some impressive features. It has four electric motors, one for each wheel, and a CPU that decides which wheel should get how much power and when. The four motors produce an impressive 729 horsepower. A savage 737 pound-feet of torque goes 0 to 60 in 3.9 seconds, has a Formula One-style push rod suspension, and on top of everything, it has a body reminiscent of the Benz 300 SL Roadster from the 60s. One of those in decent shape goes for $1.5 million plus these days. The SLS electric drive was marketed as the world's fastest electric supercar. It was so quiet, Mercedes outfitted this SLS with an audio setting that can play you noise to keep you alert and awake. Apparently it doesn't work that well, but still. What hindered this thoroughbred race car from the upper echelon success the Tesla Model X has is the 800 64 batteries that form the 1200 pound battery pack, which slows it down considerably and doesn't let you throw it around the way other supercars do. From empty, you have to charge your car for 20 hours to travel a mere 133 miles. You could barely get from LA to San Diego with that range. Drive it fast, and you could deplete the batteries in less than 30 minutes of hard driving. Still, hit Sport Plus mode and it'll smoke its $221,000 gas-powered 6.2-liter V8 SLS counterpart in a quarter-mile race by almost two car lengths. Even the snootiest of the snooty car companies are getting in on the electric car action. The $500,000 Rolls-Royce 102 EX came out in 2010 and was a mediocre hit. Also known as the Phantom Electric, the traditional Phantom 6.75-liter V12 will be replaced with two AC motors and a single-speed transmission to drive its rear wheels. An eight-hour charge gets you 124 miles. Not too bad, but needs a little work. In the modern, competitive electric car market, the 2010 car did not enter production, but it didn't suffocate Rolls-Royce's electric dream. CEO Torsten Mueller Otvos promises the brand is planning to go fully electric within the decade. And by 2030, no more new internal combustion engine products. In 2024, they will launch its flagship car, the $350,000 Spectre. Testing of the Spectre will be rigorous, as the notoriously meticulous car company will drive its prototypes 2.5 million kilometers, or 1,553,427 miles, a simulation of 400 years of use. I suppose they're planning to have Spectres from this decade on the road in the year 2420. Too. All we know for now is that Spectres will ride on the same platform as the Phantom and Cullinan SUV. $300,000 for the Lightning GT. 
Worth it? Well, the boutique British car company that manufactures the Lightning GT claims it only takes 10 minutes to charge its pair of 22 kilowatt hour lithium titanate battery packs, which can get you up to 150 miles. What is impressive about lithium titanate batteries is that they are incredibly stable and can operate in temperatures as low as negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit and as high as 131 degrees Fahrenheit. Like the SLS electric charge, they do weigh down the car quite a bit, pushing the curb weight up to 4,000 pounds, just a little less than a Toyota Tacoma. You can also get an onboard charger that can fully charge the car in five hours. The Jaguar looking car goes zero to 60 in under five seconds. Not too bad. This car has been launched a few times though and hasn't made it to customers just yet. You can order one, but you might not even get it. If you love British styling and prefer to buy something you're sure to get delivery on, consider the $99,800 Jaguar I-Pace all-electric SUV. Or if you're not ready for the electric car jump, a gas-powered comparable match in terms of styling and chassis at one-third the price of the Lightning GT would be an $87,200 Jaguar F-Type. The $200,000 Tesla Roadster is a more reasonably priced electric supercar. Three electric motors get drivers from 0 to 60 in 1.9 seconds and a top speed of 230 miles per hour. For comparison, $14 million Formula One cars accelerate from 0 to 60 miles an hour in roughly 2.6 seconds. This might seem slow given their top speeds of around 230 miles per hour. However, as a lot of their speed comes from the aerodynamics, which works better the quicker the car is going, they can can't unleash full power from a standing start. Back to Tesla. Tesla is the car most people think of when they think of electric cars. At the time of writing, Tesla is still the superstar automotive company with an impressive stock price of $999.10 today. If you're in love with a Roadster and want a special one, you may want to spend $50,000 more and get a Founders Edition. We should see Roadsters on the road in 2023. Arnold Schwarzenegger bought one of the first-gen Roadsters in 2008, but had to return it as he found the car to be way too small for his massive frame. Hopefully, this next car would fit Arnie much better. The first Porsche EV to hit the market. The $187,700 Porsche Taycan Turbo S Cross Turismo is still one of the fastest electric vehicles. Its 750 horsepower output, 0 to 60 miles an hour in 2.6 seconds, and top speed of 260 miles per hour make it comparable to the $1.4 million Bugatti Veyron, which has similar specs and goes for almost 10 times the price. And it's comfy. It's essentially a race car wagon. So lots of cargo space and the two in the back have decent legroom. Extremely uncommon for a supercar. Too lazy to park your car? Not a problem. This EV has the ability to park itself without someone behind the wheel, which can be done via smartphone with the new remote parking feature. This EV is my personal favorite by a country mile. It's those seductive four-point LED headlights with $660 matrix beams. They get you every time. Like with the Porsche Taycan, Drivers with families and lots of friends to drive around will appreciate the four-door $142,400 Audi RS e-tron GT. Kick it into overdrive to get you 0 to 60 in 3.1 seconds. The 637 horsepower all-wheel drive sedan is also environmentally conscious in other ways. Its interior is leather-free and makes use of faux suede and recycled materials. And yes, it has the same platform as the Porsche Taycan, but is a little more understated if you want it to fly under the radar. The $139,000 Lucid Grand Air Touring has a 520-mile range on a full charge, getting you from Chicago to Kansas City easy. The zero-emission Tesla Challenger has one engine on either side of its axle, and both of them together pump out 800 horsepower and 885 pound-feet of torque. Because the engines are so small, you get more cargo space in the form of a frunk and trunk. The Tesla Model S Plaid is a $134,490 bad mother shut your mouth. Although it doesn't look like a hot rod, this Jetsons looking car is almost a 10 second car. It raced a Formula One car in a quarter mile drag and had a 10.8 second drag time. The F1 car beat the Model S of course with a 9.8 second quarter mile time, but it's still remarkable that it wasn't a total blowout. Hollywood Silver Fox Brad Pitt, worth $300 million in 2022, drives a Model S Plaid, as well as $150 million actor Ben Affleck. 
must be a real sexiest man alive car. In 2013, the Model S became the first ever electric car to be named the Motor Trend Car of the Year. Hummer is back with the $99,995 GMC Hummer EV3X pickup. They paid LeBron the big bucks to help you forget the gas-guzzling Hummers of yesteryear and get you to covet this 1,000 horsepower behemoth with a 329 mile range. GMC claims this beast can go from 0 to 60 in 3 seconds. You're telling me? This 9,046-pound truck is as fast as a 3,213-pound, $200,000 Porsche GT3 RS? I'll have to see it to believe it. It has that optional adjustable air suspension so you can drive at your ideal ride height and can turn all its wheels diagonally so it can move sideways like a crab. The number one selling pickup in America is getting even more number one-y with the $90,874 Ford F-150 Lightning. The EV already has 200,000 reservations in place and growing, and Ford has already increased the Lightning's production capacity twice, as it now plans to manufacture 150,000 units a year as of 2023. The 280-mile driving range on a full charge should get you to the construction site and back real easy. President Joe Biden already got to test drive one. He told the Washington Post, this sucker's quick. Ten years ago, it'd be ridiculous to think of a production construction worker's truck that could go 0 to 60 in the mid four second range, as fast as the Dodge Charger RT. But in the next five years, that might become the norm. The top of the line $69,900 Tesla Cybertruck Tri-Motor does 0 to 60 in a ridiculous 2.9 seconds. What's going on? The F-150 has been America's best-selling vehicle for 40 years and the industry's top-selling truck for 45 years. A base model gas-powered F-150 goes for just under 40 grand. BMW is no longer just for the inconsiderate, as the $82,300 BMW iX xDrive 50 is an all-electric, environmentally friendly Beamer. Its strange design grows on you as you learn to appreciate the subtle fluorescent glow of the glass and stuck-on extra-large kidney grill. This modern marvel has a great many cute electronic conveniences. You can use your smartphone as a key, the exterior handles are sunk into the door and are all electric, and the minimalist interior with crystal glass accents has a huge curved touchscreen on the dash. Vegans can have the upholstery done in recycled materials or even hemp if leather ain't their thing. The 516 horsepower iX xDrive 50 combines a 255 horsepower front motor and a 308 horsepower back motor. By 2030, half the BMW fleet will be electric. It only seems natural that a vehicle based on the VW bus would be all electric. The big, round, fully electric $60,000 Volkswagen ID Buzz is a true hippie car, nicely in line with the image of the 1960s VW bus driver. You just know this is going right into comedian Gabriel Iglesias' $3 million Volkswagen bus collection. We should be seeing this modern Scooby-Doo van on the roads in the US in 2023. One of the trendiest and Slickest EVs is the $90,795 Cadillac Lyric Platinum Edition, the highest end of all the lyrics. The company's introduction to an all-electric EV future has a 300-mile range and is coming in 2023. If you're on a tighter automotive budget, the $59,995 entry-level model is an option. An ultra-wide 33-inch curved advanced LED display adorns the dash, serving as both the SUV's infotainment system and the driver's gauge display. Incoming big names to the electric car game that have no price tag yet are the Hyundai Genesis GV60, the Genesis Electrified G80, the Lotus Type 132 SUV, the Mercedes-Benz EQE, the Polestar 3, the Subaru Solterra, and the Toyota BZ4X. All coming later this year and next year. All right.